So, hi everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, look, I just want to jump back a couple of weeks, uh, and so this is well, this is about the process of uh, removing emphysema from my lungs. And uh, so, two weeks ago, on the fifteenth of uh, January, uh, I got the diagnosis from the doctors, and uh, look. I was a little bit shocked, uh, to be quite honest, and uh, when I left the surgery and uh, jumped into my car, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, now what? Um, all I knew is, is that in every single cellular part of my being, um, I just I just could not imagine that this emphysema was eventually going to just take over my lungs and, and that was kind of going to be the end of me. And... Uh, and it just didn't resonate. So, uh, what I did was I look. I called upon um, the spiritual realms to help guide me into into what the solution was going to be and what that might look like. And uh, you know, um, at that stage, I didn't really know. Um, but one of the first things I did was uh, was reach out to community. And um, you know, what better place to start than inside of my own family? And uh, I called my sister Helen, uh, she's a very um, beautifully spiritually adept woman and I shared shared with her what uh, what was happening with me and, uh, you know, she felt the same way that, um, you know, there was no way in the world that this, this was going to be how it was, uh, you know, um, the doom and gloom of it just wasn't going to happen, kind of on our watch really and... Um, and uh, look, I reached out to my niece as well, um, Helen's daughter, Cheryl and Rose Doherty, who's a, a very gifted and talented um, worker, um, healing healer, um, and she works with plants and New Zealand plants, and she understands uh, the Māori traditional uh, medicines as well, um, which really resonates with me. In fact, it all does. So uh, what better person to reach out to than her? And... Uh, and uh, the other person, another person who I um, shared my what was happening with me was uh, a Maori woman called uh, Mary Mim Jo, and uh, she's a dear friend and uh, and uh, you know and and colleague I suppose and um, and she made me smile actually because she said to me, look. Trisha, you know this. Um, this is an uninvited guest in in in, in the marae of your body, and uh, we need to we need to give it a pofuri and uh, to welcome it in. And uh, I I had to laugh because you know that just made perfect sense to me, and I uh, was so glad that she made a stand for me in that way. And uh, and so yes, yeah, so I organised uh, a couple of days later, and uh, that's what we did. We had a pofuri. Um, for those of you who live um, outside of New Zealand and don't understand the, the Māori traditions, um, a pōwhiri is a welcoming and um, and a marae is like a meeting house and manuhiri is is like a, a visitor, a bird, a visitor and so the emphysema is, a, is like a bird um, that's visiting the marae of my body and uh, and so we welcomed it in, um, but 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 here's the thing: it's a, a, only a temporary visit, and uh, this is a journey on how we are going to help that manuhiri fly away. And uh, I'm very excited about this journey, and it makes perfect sense to me. So uh, that's that's kind of. You know, that's been done. And look, I must admit, when I first went to the doctors, it was because I had this, you know, massive obstruction in my lungs. And, um, you know, I, could, I couldn't breathe out for a while. And I thought I actually had a, a chest infection. And uh, by the time I got to the doctors, I couldn't breathe in or out. Um, so, you know, that kind of, you know, got me going there. And I... I really thought it was going to be a chest infection, and however, it's not. I don't have a chest infection at all. What I have is emphysema, and a, a, com, a, a COPD of the lungs, if you like, which is kind of feels like asthma. Um, so um, this is it, guys. Um, I'm on a journey to uh, get my lungs back healthy, healthy and normal and functional, and. Um, you know, please feel free to join me on this journey. Uh, it's going to be a stunning year. Okay, thank you for tuning in. Uh, much love.